I'm Hugh Collingborn, Director of Technology with Sapphire Steel Software. In this video I'll highlight a few of Amethyst's editing capabilities. Amethyst provides powerful code editors for ActionScript and MXML. These can be used to create applications entirely within Amethyst or to edit code in projects shared with other IDEs such as Adobe's Flash CS4 or CS5 or Flash Builder. If you plan to use Amethyst on code shared with another IDE or editor, use the Project Importer to convert the existing Flex or Flash project in its original location. In this video I'll highlight a few of the fundamental features of the Amethyst code editors. I'll start with code folding and code colouring. Amethyst has 76 syntax colouring options for ActionScript and MXML, in addition to all the Visual Studio standard colours for strings comments and so on. We already have a separate tutorial which explains colour customization in more depth. Code folding operates on all major code constructs such as packages, classes, functions and even if, for, switch and try-catch blocks. In ActionScript files you can also create named regions just by entering the word region in a line comment followed by an optional name and end region where you want the collapsing to terminate. And hover over the collapse marker to see a preview of the hidden code. It's even possible to mark arbitrary blocks of text for collapsing. Just pop up the mouse menu and select outlining hide selection. And to remove the collapsing pop up the menu again and select outlining Stop hiding current. Code collapsing also operates in MXML files where it will work on paired MXML tags. Amethyst can automate commenting and uncommenting of ActionScript and MXML. Just press the comment and uncomment buttons in the text editor toolbar or use whichever hotkeys are set up in your Visual Studio keyboard layout. The defaults are Ctrl plus E followed by C and Ctrl plus E followed by U, and the appropriate comment delimiters are auto-selected for MXML or for ActionScript. Amethyst automates the creation of AS document blocks too. Immediately above a function enter slash star star and this creates a comment with any parameters and a return value if there is one. Many other editing features from the edit menu and text edit toolbars are also supported. For example, format document or selection, make uppercase, make lowercase, increase or decrease indentation, and so on. Amethyst automatically highlights matching brackets as the cursor moves over them. And you can move between brackets using a hotkey. The default hotkey is Control plus right square bracket. Some programmers like to have closing brackets inserted automatically. This can be done by enabling auto brackets in the advanced options for ActionScript. As explained in other tutorials, the editor supports IntelliSense such as code completion and auto-expanding snippets. Amethyst supports three types of automatic tabbing to align code when you press Enter. These options are set in Tools, Options, Text Editor, Action Script tabs and Text Editor, MXML tabs. If you select None, your cursor is placed against the left margin when you press Enter. Block tabs cause the cursor to align under the text on the line above. And Smart tabs place the cursor based on the code syntax using your code formatting rules. For example, if your formatting rules state that block contents will be indented, then when you type an opening curly bracket and press Enter, your cursor will be indented, ready for you to start coding. Amethyst incidentally has extensive customizable code formatting which is explained in detail in another video. In addition to the features explained in this video, Amethyst also supports other normal Visual Studio editing features. For example, you can automate repetitive tasks or create new capabilities by recording or writing your own macros. You can do split window editing to edit different locations of a single file in two panes and in Visual Studio 2010 you can float windows to edit files in windows positioned on one or multiple monitors.
For more information and tutorials on the Amethyst Editor, Debugger, Visual Designer and other tools, go to the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.